This is a video about Revit uh, 2013 MEP, and it's about uh, transferring project standards, uh, specifically electrical settings. Uh, starting out with a file in uh, Revit that just has uh, some walls in it, uh, and this is um, just to represent the, the type of file that you would normally be face. Somebody else has done architectural design, and now you're in the process of doing the MEP. So rather than being able to start with a template, which is uh, what we created in a number of other videos about electrical settings, you're looking at a file that um, has already been started and uh, you're adding stuff into it. So just take a look at this. Uh, we're going to go to the Manage um, tab here. And we're going to take a look at, at what's in there now, Managing Templates. And uh, we can see here for branch panel, two column circuits across, uh, it's just the default branch panel. I'm just looking at this because these are things that have we've shown how to set these up in other videos. Uh, we'll look here at some of the other settings, demand factors. This is just uh, what comes out of the box with Revit. Um, we'll look at the load classification, same thing, just generic uh, stuff, nothing that we've set up here. And finally, we'll look at electrical settings. Uh, we'll look at some things like wiring types, where we had set some up, nothing there. No voltage definitions, no distribution systems. Um, also, uh, panel schedule, nothing, nothing set up there in particular. So now, uh, we're going to see how we get the settings that we put in our template into this existing file. So going back here to uh, manage, uh, we see transfer project standards. Now if you go and click on this, it gives you an error message saying there are no projects to transfer standards from. So what it's telling us is we need another file in here. So I'm going to uh, open a file that has um, basically the stuff that we've set up. And uh, this will be uh, one that we'll be uh, transferring from. So. Here I'm just going to switch. I have two uh, files that are open right now. This is my uh, template file, which we created in other videos. And I'm just going to hit Control Tab here and switch back to uh, this file that we want to add the stuff to. So now when I go to Manage and Transfer Project Standards, you'll see I'm given a list of things to copy. And this is the file that I'm copying from, which is the uh, template file that I just opened. Now I want to, just for this case, since uh, there could be all kinds of other people working on this file, I'm just going to focus on electrical. So I'm going to uncheck all these things that we could be copying. And then I'm just going to go through here, and I'm just going to check on electrical things that we've uh, defined in here. Uh, conduit settings, sizes, conduit standard types, cable tray. Now, I'm not saying I've set up everything here, but these are things that, that could be. Uh, distribution system, uh, electrical demand factors, load classification, electrical settings. We'll also, see our panel schedule templates. Definitely change some of those. Phase settings is not electrical. And we have voltage types and a whole series of wire items here. So basically, I've selected all of the electrical. Yeah, I'm going to click OK. That's going to tell me about that all these things already exist. They were default settings. So uh, we're going to be changing all that stuff. And this just gives me that list of uh, these parameters, and, uh, settings, and templates, and everything that I'm changing. So I'm going to select. Now we have a choice between new only, which is all just the stuff that we've added, which wouldn't help us too much, or overwrite. So here we'll be overriding. So we're doing the electrical in this. So whatever else is in there, uh, we're setting uh, standards. So now we pick overwrite, and we've moved all those settings into this file. So we're going to check that and take a look here at managing a template. And we'll see now we have this branch panel industrial 
uh, template in there, which is one that uh, we had set up in a previous video. Uh, we'll take a look at uh, demand factors. We've got all these custom ones that we set up in another video. You see this is different from, from what we saw before. Um, we'll take a look at the load classifications. Again, these are uh, ones that we specifically set up. And finally, look at electrical settings. And uh, some in particular here were uh, wiring types. We set those wiring types up, voltage definitions, distribution systems, and um, panel schedules. We hadn't made any actual changes there. But uh, so all these uh, items have been imported. So when we save this file, um, all of those are now in here. So this would be the way uh, that you get your uh, template file and all these settings that you've already taken care of and done into uh, a new project that you're working on. Of course, if you're starting out the whole thing uh, from scratch, then you can just use the template file without having to do an import. For further information, go to uh, drinfrastructure.com.